Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, honey. What's wrong? Andrea, you know I love you, don't you? Why do I suddenly feel scared? What I have to tell you is not necessarily bad. It could be great. It's just gonna make things take a little longer, that's all. What's happened? I've been accepted at Juilliard. Juilliard? I thought we were both going to stay here and go to UCLA. Everything's changing, Andy. My folks got back together. When did this happen? My dad got a job. In New Jersey. We're supposed to leave next week. I thought we were going to get married, Tony. We are. We are. It's just going to take a little longer. We made promises to each other. I know. Look, if you don't want me to go, I won't go. I'll start school here and we'll get married. Maybe Juilliard will accept me later. And maybe they won't. And you'd never forgive me. I never really thought they'd accept me. I sure never thought my mom would come back and we'd be a family again. I do love you, Andrea. It's just... I'm so damn confused. Andy, go away. Go away. I will if you want me to. I'd rather stay. You wouldn't understand. You never do. This is about Tony, isn't it? What do you care? You don't want me to see him anyway. You got your way. My father's gone and so is Tony. <laughs> Andrea Huffman, you sit up here and listen to me. Come on, sit up here. Now, I wish with all my heart that none of this had ever happened to you, Andy. You're my firstborn. When you hurt, I hurt. But by God, none of what's happened is my fault, and I'm not going to let you carry a grudge against me for the rest of your life. I'm through playing the martyr. You're not the only woman in this world who's been disappointed, you know. Now, you have two choices. You can either lie around and feel sorry for yourself, or you can accept what's happened and go on. I heard... I hurt so bad. I think I'm gonna die. I know. No. Why do the people you love the most always leave? They don't. Not always. I don't know how to make you believe this, but it is true. There are people in this world who honor their commitments. There are. Men and women who love each other and who are loyal to each other all their lives. You haven't seen it around you, but it does exist. And you must never settle for less. Don't you ever settle for less. <laughs> Fishing is a very spiritual exercise, Joshua. As with human relationships, the more line you give to the fish, the more likely you are to wind up with it. I bet you sure miss having a family, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Well, you can hang around us as much as you want to. Ah, uh, thank you, Joshua. I like you a whole lot, and so does my mom. And I figure you like her. Oh, 
Very much, very much. Joshua, let us beat around the bush. We talk man to man, all right? Okay. Okay. Your beautiful, charming mother is very much younger than I am, and it is not at all sure that she will like me in quite the same way that I like her. She might. But she might not. Therefore, I suggest that we do not write any scripts, you and I. Instead, we take it day by day, and we see what happens. All right? Okay. A good friendship, you know. Not such a terrible thing. You know, it's not easy being a man. No, I know. So many people depend on you. Like, I had this friend at school. She really got messed up. I couldn't help her, and I didn't know what to do. You just have to continue to be her friend. That's all you can do. Eli, mm -hmm. I've never said this to anyone before. But it's true. My father doesn't like me. He never has. No, he doesn't like himself, Joshua. It's not you. So I sat down with him. And I said, Daddy, I'm not a little girl. I'm a senior in high school. I'm on the pill. <laughs> I've been sleeping with my boyfriend for six months, and I'm flunking math. Alec is down. He turned a stone, right? Wrong. Well? Well, don't hang us up like this. What did he do? He took out his slide rule and said we'd better get to work on my math. <laughs> That's it? He didn't blow or anything? No. In fact, he looked kind of relieved. Wouldn't it be funny if all this time he was acting the way he thought I wanted it. All right. <laughs> Do you think that you'd relate differently to your father if you lived with him full time? No. No, I don't think so. I think working out relationships, well, it has a lot to do with guts and honesty, stuff like that. It's not how much time you're with him. It's what you do with the time you have. That's nice. I like that. Andy, I saw you walking alone today. Where's Tony? Gone. Gone? For good? For good. I thought you guys were getting married. Change of plans. His folks got back together and they've moved to New Jersey. What a cold shot. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. In fact, he called last night. He said he's going to try and get out here this summer, but... I don't think I'll ever feel quite the same again. Bet your mom's happy. <laughs> Not really. I mean, she didn't think I was ready to get married or anything, but... she knew how I felt. She's been great. Thought your mom was a pain. I think I was the pain. My mom has guts. I learned a lot of things from her. Would you like to share them with us? Well, for one thing, she still likes people. In spite of everything that's happened to her, she's not bitter. My father called last week and took me out to lunch, and it was fine. Mom still gets up in the morning and smiles and expects everything to be okay. It's like she's in charge of what happens to her. I'd like to be like that. I think I will. Big deal. I told my mom to buzz off today. Toby! <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you you have a lousy attitude? Yeah, my mom's new boyfriend. Oh, 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 o